to start with the chapter we will begin with an office memorandum which was passed on 13th August 1990 and we must remember that every day nearly an office memorandum is passed but there was something special about this memorandum and that was a big controversy that was followed after the passing of the memorandum. The number of this memorandum was office memorandum number 36012 oblique 31 oblique 90 EST in brackets CST. Now this was passed on 13th August 1990 signed by a joint secretary but remember he was just the signing authority not the authority who had passed this order because one man cannot make such a big law there are many institutions there are many other people who actually make the laws for the country for example if I talk of then we have the president of the country who is the highest formal authority in the country prime minister who has the real powers and who exercises them then we have two houses in the parliament the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha Lok Sabha with immense powers and the prime minister must have the support of the members of the Lok Sabha coming back to this office memorandum which was passed so by the mere signing by the joint secretary does not show that he was the person who was responsible behind the passing of this memorandum if I talk of the office memorandum the provision in this was that 27 percent of the seats would now on be reserved for the socially and educationally backward class already we had reservations for the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe and a third category of socially and educationally backward class was created by this office memorandum of 13th August 1990 by which 27 percent reservation was made now the procedure was that in fact the second backward class commission was set up by the government of India in the year 1979 and the head of this commission was BP Mandal that is why this commission came to be known as Mandal Commission the Mandal Commission submitted its report in 1980 but for 10 years there was controversy there were discussions that is to say this decision of the BP Mandal Commission did not become an office memorandum unless the elections were held in 1989 and the Lokdal party promised to the people that if they came in power they shall see to it that the Mandal Commission is implemented in the country and Lokdal won this election and VP Singh became the Prime Minister of India.